Good morning, iFam. Welcome to today's morning. vlog. Good morning. Everyone's just having breakfast, except Isabel, she's still upstairs. Everyone else is down here. Oh, Aurora and Chris are also upstairs. Getting themselves ready for the day. If you watched yesterday's vlog, then you might know that we stuck. Yes, darling. I know, she's okay, she's with daddy, he's changing her. Uh, if you watched yesterday's vlog, then you might know that we had a task to get the laundry room completely organised, basically. You can't really say decorating, there's no decorating going on, it's not really renovating. It's just organised, we're trying to organise it a bit better. So, we failed, <laughs> miserably. We did as much as we could, but it just... We didn't get it completely completed. Me and Chris did stay up last night after Aurora. I got Aurora to sleep and everyone else was asleep. We built the other um, the other unit so that that was done. So we've got both units in there now. And it's basically it's pretty much done, to be fair. We just need to clear up a few little bits that we didn't do yesterday, basically. Um, the playroom is on the cards for today. It's so bad in that room. I know loads of you guys have seen it over, well, before we went away. But that's on the cards for today. I'm going to start to make, I've got big plans for that room. Um, and it does mean, we'll just talk about the playroom another time. We don't need to talk about that now. Um, today though, I think we're starting the day by heading out. We've got to go to, well, we need to go do a food shop. Basically, we've been going to the one stop here, we're just grabbing essentials each day, and that's not the best. We were supposed to go to the big food shop yesterday, but yesterday just got away with us, so we didn't end up doing that. So we're going to go do that first this morning so that the same doesn't happen. And then I think Chris wants to call at B&Q as well. He wants to get some... We've got, we've got big plans for this wall over here. Um, I just hate how... I love this space, and I love what we've done here. Chris hates this colour, this black, and you can't really tell on camera, but it's not black, it's more like a, a very dark green, yeah. It's like the darkest green you could imagine, it's not black. Even though we bought black, or we thought it was black, it's not. It's like a very dark, you can't really tell. I mean, you can't tell, if somebody was to walk in here, they're not gonna look, they're not gonna say, oh look, it's a green wall. I couldn't see the green until you mentioned it then, now I can see green. You couldn't tell. That's the thing, like you wouldn't you wouldn't look at it and be like, oh look a green wall, but when someone says, look, it's not black, it's green, and you really look, like you can see the green. green. It's got a slight green tone. Green, obviously. Yeah. It's like very dark. Yeah, it's got the slightest of green tones. But Chris doesn't want and now he can see it, he doesn't he hates it. So he wants to just paint those two bits there. And then the rest of the wall. I'm not gonna right, so we're putting a dado rail up around. I'll tell you the bit that we not been agreeing on. I about this you haven't told me about this plan. No, I don't think we have. Ever. Yes, Mila. Right, so I just filmed all this. I didn't even press record. <laughs> so annoying. Right, so put in a dado rail around here, this wall here. All the way. A dado rail. Um, we're just going to do it like a light, creamy beige, I think. Um, all the way around here. And then we're doing panelling on the top, but not panelling like big chunky bits of wood. More like frames. You know, like the frame panelling? Frame panelling is kind of like, it's like a patterned dado rail but really thin. Yeah. So I want to do, do you know what I mean, yeah? So I want to do like a tall rectangle there and then a long rectangle there and then a tall rectangle there. So there'll be three on that wall. And then on this wall here, because this wall's much bigger, pretty much the same but two rectangles tall. One, two, one long big one and then one two on that wall there. The problem is, right, is that Chris thinks, and you guys might even agree with him, but I doubt it. Chris thinks that you can paint this wall here and then just stop there. I don't think you can do that. I think you need to continue the colour along the top and all the way along the top there and down there. I don't think it looks so stupid if it just stops there. Right. So I wouldn't want the whole wall to be a different colour. So what colour would it be? It'd only be very light. Very light. Yeah. It's just it's a. Light, then that's okay. It's it's not going to be dark. It's going to be very very the lightest beige we can find. I I just want it like a warm colour rather than just yeah. cold. Okay. Yeah. I think that'll look good. I don't know about it stopping though. 
If you like that, I might look silly. But if you're going to stop it somewhere, I'd stop it with a cupboard start. Or something. Would there? Yeah. So not do above well, the cupboards? Well, oh, see, I just think you're either doing the wall or you're not. Yeah, but if you want to... Yeah, but like, it's, imagine how hard it's going to be to get off the cupboards. Yeah, that's what Dad said. That's what Dad said. But I'm like, well, we're doing it or we're not. You, you can't be like, well, yeah, I'm doing half the job, but I'm not doing all of it because it's hard. It's not that... I mean, it would be hard, <laughs> but I feel like you even you can't just paint half a wall. It was the same with this part. To be fair, here he wanted to stop there, and I I wanted to do the strip along the top. Oh, maybe I don't know. The only other thing I could think of was to only paint below the dado rail. So if we only painted painted below the dado rail and we left the top bit white, then it wouldn't matter. Well, obviously it would matter because we'd just do that tiny bit there, but you wouldn't have to go right at the top above all the cabinets. Anyway, another day, another package. Let's see what's in this. Right, you ready, Isla? Yeah. Isla's just like me. She loves a good package. Even if it's like just someone else's stuff. One second. And it's like, like, this isn't my stuff. I just like open it. Just want to see what's inside. Oh, it's all my, um, I know what that is. It's all my organizing. Uh. Oh no, actually, there's stuff in here for your birthday. There's something in here for your birthday. There's not clothes for your birthday, don't mind to see this, but there is something here. Okay. So go, go over there, you can't see. Can you, can you move it behind the cushions so that I can get help you? Yeah, open? but you'll have to wait a minute though, okay? Because there's two things, so stay there. Yes, darling. Wait, here. Yeah. Close your eyes. <gasps> pretty, oh, they're so cute. They're so pretty. I've seen people get like at Esme's upstairs, Dan. I've seen people get these. Yeah. And like when they have sleepovers, they put like get loads of different yeah, things. Yeah, that's like why. Sour Patch Kids go in there. Yeah. And then like you know, nerds in there and blah blah blah, blah all the way around. So when we never have our sleepovers. Wait a minute, Mimi. So how are we gonna go to the shops tomorrow? Yeah. We should fill this up with mine as they sleep over. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we so should cool. do. Mom, right, what, darling? Uh, close your eyes. Okay. Cool. Oh, what is that? Whoa! Are they stickers? Yeah. You love stickers. You can stick it onto a wall. Look how funny it is. Oh. I need one of these. They're so funny. I actually forgot I'd ordered another one of those because I ordered two and they were both yellow and I was a bit annoyed about that. Oh. Look now. Ah. A more stickers mean oh, odd. Welcome, darling. I love you. This is so funny. It's cute. Okay, we're all organised. We've got our juice bottles all here ready. We've got our straws. These are actually straws for crafting. And they were actually too big to fit in this little tub that Isla said, oh, you should put them in this tub. And then I was like, oh yeah, I should. So once I got that idea in my head, I couldn't get it out of my head. So we had to snip all the straws to make sure they fit in there. But when we snipped the straws, I thought these are good for bracelets. So I Isla's kept, we've obviously, yeah, I would have kept them and made something with them. You make pictures yeah. and all sorts of like them. Pink, or bracelets or pictures or like, you yeah. them together, you know. Yeah, we like can, that. all sorts of crafting. Yeah. Use them for all sorts, and that's what these straws are for. So they're going to be going yeah. in the crafting cupboard. We've got yes. all of our, um, I don't know why I ordered five of these. Why did I order five? Yeah. Just like, freeze for the fridge, like some organising for the fridge. I think, or maybe I'll even use, oh, there's one there. Yeah. They were flying all over when we were cop yeah. chopping them. Um, yeah, I don't know why I ordered five. I should have ordered six. Oh my gosh, yeah, you could do that. Could do. I don't know if to use them for the craft cupboard or the fridge, but I'm sure we'll work it out. And then we've got a couple more stickers. We've got this little wooden set for me that it comes with all different animals and I'll show you on the back. Yeah, all different things. Here that you can do, a little yeah. magnetic set, and then this, which I thought was a nice, cool game for Jace to play as well. And that's everything. And then this, which is just the beast. 
I just got that out to have a look at. I don't know why I just said that that's all I got because it's not. I also got some new clips. I wear these most days and I absolutely love them. So I got some of those. Got some storage bags. These are going to be for jigsaw pieces. Wow, well done. Everyone's absolutely loving the, um, the straw bits now. But yeah, some storage bags for puzzles and things. I got some little bows for the girls' hairs. What, darling? Blue, long one. Wow. Um, I got two. I think they're different. Actually, they're different colours. We got some one. Easter. <laughs> That's cool, Isla. <gasps> Careful, Mila, you little renegade. See that hand then? She's like lightning. <laughs> she, she thought they were sweets. <laughs> some little bits for Easter. Leftover straws. Um, a little thing to chop open packages. And then finally, some. What are these? Oh, these are those packing cubes. You know the packing cubes that you get to. A, for your holidays basically so that when you're organizing your suitcase you fit more in I think with these packing cubes I always feel like you get more in and your clothes are always organized as well so I got three sets of those I think they were like five pound a set something like that so they were a bargain and then I got two of these <laughs> yes. two nutters um, I just opened one to show you it's basically just um, toiletry bags that you can kind of hang on the shower if you want to but I got these for when me and Chris obviously for when, I got them for me and Chris sorry for when we travel for when we travel because Chris Chris has a monkey monkey travel bag that he uses when we travel and it, when I say monkey it's because like stuff like leaks in there and he never cleans it it's disgusting <laughs> and it's just I don't know it just he needed a new one and they were on offer for a few pounds and I was like yeah I'm going to buy two of those, we can keep them full of our travel bits and I don't have to look at Chris's manky travel bag again. Right, I'm going to go and get Jason Miller ready for the day and then we're going to head out to the show. Yes you are! <laughs> Guys, we just got back from the shop and I've caved. Five and a half months and she's eating. <laughs> I <laughs> wanted to wait until six months, but she's so ready. She's not ready, but yeah, she, yeah, she, she is. She is eating. She's got a strawberry in that. She's always, she, yeah, I didn't. She's always weak. She, she's always trying I to know it. she is. She just feels ready to me, and she's not really been that happy the last few days. I'm sure it's because she's hungry. She wants more. Say, Mama, I just want more. Is that good? Chubby baby. <laughs> you little chubby. You're beautiful. <laughs> So she's got a strawberry in that little thing that I bought whilst we were out today that I've never used them before. I think I use, she's loving it. I think I used them with, no, I did, did it with Jace? Because me and I steal them and put our own cherries in Oh, did you? Okay. Maybe with Jace then. But um, I remember with Mila thinking, now they're a waste of money. Just give it to her. Give the strawberry to her in her hand. But because she's not quite six months yet, I don't know, I panicked. I panicked a little bit. I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. No, that's good because just juice will come out. So she'll still get the flavour, but she won't like Yeah. No, I think she will. It'll all just squish out the side. Yeah, it'll all squish out the holes. Oh. <laughs> what do you think? Are you having a strawberry for your first food? This might be a sour one. I think they were quite sour. What do you think? Anyway, she was absolutely screaming. She's not like she's been putting down the last few days at all, has she? Literally like five minutes max. And then we've got to pick her back up. What do you think of that? We gave her the strawberry. <laughs> she's been happy. Is it good? She's proper going for it, look. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Is it a little bit tiny? Hello. <laughs> that is the cutest thing ever I'm sorry but that's so sweet I were planning on filming bits when we went out to the shops today but we forgot the camera again we're getting a bit bad at that aren't we uh, it, was, it was good though we could just wrap it around it and get it done and get back yeah so. we did need to just obviously we had Jay's Mila and Aurora with us and they just don't oh, no, look we... Jay's told me halfway around B&M that he needed a blanket to go to sleep because he was that tired on the aisles he wasn't who were just clearly bored in the shop. Girls, there is the biggest, and I'm not joking, and I'm not exaggerating when I say this, the biggest B&M I have ever seen in my life opened near us. Life. Yeah. You know where, it used to, you know where Debenhams used to be? Yeah. Debenhams closed just before. It's been upstairs and downstairs, and it's massive. Yeah. No, it's so no boots, yeah. That was close. And now the, the Debenhams, I can't tell you how big it is. 
That was that, that I, I, I didn't even get a chance building. to walk all massive, around it today, it? yeah. I didn't even get a chance to walk all around it. We've got the world's biggest B&M on it. There's a downstairs, which is humongous, and an upstairs. Mm -hmm. It's so oh. big. I wanted to look around it, but Jason Milo were having none of it. Mila was oh. having none of it. She was picking up everything she wanted. <laughs> and I love this, Mama. Oh, Princess Jason, boy, look at this. Dropped it. And um, Jace was Jace was clearly so bored. He was like, this is so boring. I'm so bored, Mama. So bored. Can I go back to the car with Daddy? And I was like, no, because Aurora was asleep, so Chris waited in the car. And um, then he started giving it, I need a blanket to lay down because I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't get a chance to look around, but it's like a full day out. That B&M is like a full day out. I was whipping stuff in my basket as quick as I could because I know I any minute Jason and Mila were done. It was like a tiny B&M next. Yeah, it's, it was so big. Pardon? Oh, and the you got your strawberry. Me. I've not even washed that one. I already washed that one. Yeah. I'm not washed. I need to wash them. Don't eat no more, okay? Cheeky Ted. Um, but yeah, I'll show you what I bought. I didn't buy that much, but I did buy. Actually, yeah, I did. I bought two bags full. <laughs> Where's all my B and M stuff? Have you guys emptied these bags? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm making them um, like what? a chocolate the fruit with the pomegranate. Down. I bought these, look how cool oh, wait, these are. Wait, 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 you're making chocolate pomegranate? Yeah, but I realised I, I, didn't, I didn't buy the chocolate, so that's a bit annoying. But 50 reusable massive pom pom ball pool water soakers, four pounds from B&M. And I thought, you know what, that'd be a great activity for water play. Scooping the balls, scooping the pom poms out of the water, etc., etc. Yes, Isla? When we go out to like... Anna, I'm going to show you. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> Do you know when we go out, when we're going to go out um, just around town, you know, to get stuff? Yeah. Maybe like tomorrow the next day. Yeah. Um, the well, I thought we could go to like B&M or something and then we could get some paints like this because I wanted to get some paints. Ah, uh, yeah, money. they've got a huge craft yeah. section. I'd love to get some craft Them ones were five, they, those ones today were three for five pounds, so I bought six. I Okay. I love it when she grabs your face. I, I need to show I you. I need to come with you. Let's go. Stop to put some toothpastes. I've got a load of paint. I got those from Aldi, so I don't know why they're there. I got loads, I got loads of things like this for my new pantry. Random soup. <gasps> Chris is gonna be buzzing with this. Uh, right, Chris just said, I'm gonna get into trouble because I didn't cut the ties off. And he's right, I didn't. I came home, I've like put in boiling water. Get, <laughs> cut the ties off it. It's because. <laughs> I've just been with she's not on her own with it. You're watching her, I'm sat here watching it. It's not like she's gonna hurt herself. But it's because she was crying. I was concentrating on wash scolding it with hot water and then shoving that in it. Every single comment on the video is gonna be something about that now. Every, every yeah, every comment's gonna be like she's gonna poke her eye out. So save yourself guys. Fine. You got one. I didn't snip the tags off. Molly. Yes. <laughs> Mila just walked me to the front door. Yeah. And she showed me the coupons bags. Oh, oh me. yeah, I went and got some gingerbread men for us all for after dinner. Ooh, they're gingerbread men, they're super cute. Right. Amy. Okay, Sarah said to film myself, so. It's so nice. Right, what's one thing you shout? Oh, this is so sad that I'm doing this. What's one thing you shout in our house? Oh, you're not going to remember. All the time in the kitchen. What's one ki Go and put that back. Go and put that. She stole a gingerbread man. Wait. Get it quick, it'll be mine. <laughs> okay, what's one kitchen thing, other than bacteria wipes, what's one thing you're shouting? Where's the. Kitchen roll. Yeah! Kitchen roll! Dun, 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 dun. Why do I feel like an adult now? I've got a kitchen roll holder! It's not going to stay on the kitchen roll. They'll still steal the kitchen roll upstairs. And they best put that kitchen roll back on that kitchen roll holder. Okay, thank you. Five bish. Nice one. Do you like it? It's alright, yeah, it's cool. Are you really excited about this? Where, whereabouts is it going? You're going to have a nice place around the side. I'm having a nice what? place on the kitchen side. Okay. Mom, just know yeah. that Thank I'm you. the best person to buy gifts for because I'd give you a big hug, a big hug and say thank you so much. And Dad goes, alright. I'll give you, I'll I'll give you a hug, sweetheart, if you need a hug. <laughs> yes, okay, thank you. What, darling? Just a crush me. Pardon? Just a crush me. Jace is trying to crush you. <laughs> what? Yes. He's trying to crush you. Go say JC boy, that's not nice. Because Mila took JC's seat to the. To oh, go tell him, Mila. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, the worst, not the worst, but one of the worst appliances that could possibly fail for us has failed. After three years, our dryer has packed in. It sounded like there was a boot or something yeah. in there and it was just a duvet. But yeah, I've washed Aurora's nappies and 
but yeah, that's the thing. It's like we need it. We need a dryer for nappies, so that's not ideal. But have we got someone coming hopefully it's tomorrow? Coming, it's coming tomorrow, yeah, afternoon. Can't tell me when he just because he's busy, but he's gonna slot us in between jobs, so he's gonna ring me in the afternoon tomorrow. I'm already trying to grab the camera. Look at look, look at strawberry face, babe. She's got strawberry on the other nose. <laughs> Camera. Who's that? He's strawberry <gasps> butter. <laughs> Who's that? Who is it? Right, I need to go cut them tags off before you actually do hurt yourself. You alright, is he? Oh, I'm just waiting because I've got beef for dad. I'm just waiting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, me and my cooking buddy. <laughs> so I just spent a couple of hours. I actually feel really good. It looks probably looks worse, does it? Probably looks better. But I spent a couple of hours in the playroom organising. I was planning on not telling Chris Jace's birthday present, but I need him to move the sofa out of there. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna have to tell him it's probably gonna cause an argument. So when I say an argument, I mean a light-hearted argument. But it's gonna be like, no, and I'm gonna be like, no, it's too late, I've already done it. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Isla, I just showed Isla. Anyway, we're about to make dinner. I just made a start in the play group, playroom. That's why a couple of hours have gone by. I didn't realise the time, it's probably about 7 o'clock, half 6, 7, so it's really late dinner tonight, but it's all good, we're okay, and I just thought I would show you, I'm about to expose myself, <gasps> there's a whole punt of strawberries I gone, know. but yeah, this is the story of my life, literally been in the house like a couple of hours and the strawberries are all gone, <laughs> good job I bought a couple of packs, <laughs> anyway, I'm about to expose us, I'm exposing our family, because this is why we needed the pantry, no, we're doing alright, no, Look at that cupboard. Oh, that cupboard, that yeah, that's, that's the last one to go. <laughs> Terrible. Are you ready for this, guys? What about that for a cupboard, then? Tell me that does not give you a headache, even just looking at it, because I, I, I physically don't dare take anything from this cupboard, because if I pull one thing out, the whole cupboard's just going to fall on me. So that this cupboard is my inspiration for the pantry <laughs> cupboards that we've bought, because I cannot deal... I tried to keep it organised with the like, you see the plastic boxes buried somewhere in there? It didn't work, guys. It didn't work. So, yeah. I'm very excited for tomorrow to, that's tomorrow's job. <laughs> More of the playroom and that, which is one of the biggest jobs. I'm not doing it tonight because it's already super late. So we're having dinner. We're having tonight, never had these before. If anyone's had these, well, don't bother. Why does that low key look like an ear? Really? Why does that look like an ear island? <laughs> that can be dad's. Um, <laughs> cheesy, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a cheesy thing, Classy. I think. So we're having these for dinner tonight with some rice. Is that a vacuum? Don't that's like vacuum, vacuum packed. packed. Right, I was yeah. Say. And I also got some quick cook chicken breast sizzlers. I mainly got these because I don't know if Jason Miller will like the steaks. I don't know if any of us will like the beef, should I say. I don't know if any, whatever. Anyway, I got some chicken sizzlers to do as well. And we're gonna have that with some rice. And yeah, I'm gonna make it now. What are you doing, Isla? I thought you were helping me cook, mate. So I am going to cook first. I'm gonna make our dessert, so. I'm no, we've got desserts for tonight and they won't freeze. Okay, well, well maybe tomorrow morning. Oh, like, tomorrow's time. Yeah, tomorrow's dessert. So I have these, like, calippo things. And She's going using more to... strawberries. I cut up one strawberry and then blueberries and I'm going to make like fruit ice pops. What are you because... going to make them with? You should make them with mm. like yogurt or milk. Oh, yeah. I mentioned milk. I used to love frozen milk when I was younger. Frozen milk? I know, it's really random. Mind you. Frozen milk. Or maybe you should do it with orange juice. Maybe. Why don't we do a bit of a bit? A bit of a bit. A bit, of a bit. Just do them with orange juice and then you can do them with milk next time. But, should I do it with the ice, these ones or the ones, or the other ones? Because we need the lollipop trade, ones. We? Because you need a tray for these, don't we? No, I think you just do it like up, that. No, you need to stand them up. Oh, don't. Stand them up on the heads. Stand them up on the, on the lids. I was planning on filming dinner, but everyone was starving, so we just tucked in. But we basically just had rice, broccoli, chicken, and steak. It was so good. Chris loved it. And that's not not usual for Chris. Don't usually like steak. I'm really into it. He's been getting into it all of a sudden. But um, it was very delicious. I just have to say, because I was complaining, not complaining, but I was pointing out that Aurora literally will not go. What is We're pointing out that Aurora just doesn't, doesn't sleep at the minute, unless she's been held. But Chris put her down on the bed upstairs, how long ago? 
hour and ten minutes or so. Hour and ten minutes ago. And she's still fast asleep. And this is the first time since she's been born that we've had dinner. Without her, no. Without her in our arms. And it's, it makes me feel weird. I feel like I need to go check on her. <laughs> anyway, these are the little gingerbread man, men we bought today. Look how cool these look. <laughs> oh my gosh, they look so cool. Yes, Mila. Can I wear one? A witch? No, I don't. A mermaid? Money. Yes. Um, that one. Can, can I have the shark one? I like the shark. Yes, you can. You can take the shark. <laughs> Daddy can have the dinosaur. Isla? Um, which one did you get? Which one is yours, Daddy? Uh, anyone you want. Okay. Anyone you want, you can have. Um, oh. You choose. Well, I like the unicorn, but look at the head. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they all taste the same. Oh, wait. There's oh. not. Wait. Is that one, one for me? It's fine, I don't want one. No, you do want one, you're having one. I don't have want one. one. I don't want one. I don't like gingerbread men, I don't want one. I don't want one. Okay, well, it's going to go to waste. The one's better. Oh, look at that. It's gone to waste, look at it. No, you eat it. No, you're I don't right. want it. Isabel. I don't want it. Isabel. I want one. Isabel. Isabel. Eat the gingerbread man. I don't want it. Wait, when does ever, Isabel ever want sweet stuff, ever? Yeah, I don't. She doesn't, she doesn't like them. Um, please. No. <coughs> Isabel, I bought that for you. It's so you rude. didn't. I did. You just went, oh, this, oh. Not for you, for me. If you if you don't no, eat it, I want you to have it. No, I, I want you. It's a bell. I don't want it. Half and half. I'll eat it. 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 And you can have its body. Right, me and Isabel half and half. They were two for two pounds, so I just got six. I just and I thought that I got everyone one. I always forget how big our family is. Anyway, it's no biggie. But Isabel just said, no one ever thinks of me. And I was pointing out to her. And then Esme said... No, it's worse than my star. Esme just pointed out one night when we were in the van. I don't know how this happened. But what, 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 what were we making? Wraps? Yeah. yeah we were making wraps one night. Yeah, it was like wraps. Were like it wasn't breakfast it. wraps. It was potatoes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We were making wraps one night. And I made everyone's dinner. And it always takes 10 years because of how big our family is. So I made everyone's dinner. We all sat down. Yeah, that's separately. the thing. I have to do everyone separately because we're in the van and it's smaller space. And also because the ingredients that you had to mm -hmm. add. So I sat down, finally, to eat mine. I'm sat there, I'm just enjoying my, my wrap. And I got like halfway through it. And Esme pokes her head down and went, Mum, when's my dinner done? <laughs> Forgotten Esme. <laughs> not, and her face. I've not done Esme any dinner. Luckily, there were all the ingredients left still. It's because it was the first night ever she'd ever sat in the front, in the cabin. Mm. In the front yeah, she was. Yeah, she was. I know. I don't. I don't know how I did it. I just <laughs> forgot Esme's. So then I ended up not even eating mine because Esme's like, I'm starving. I'm holding, Mine's gonna be cold. I'm holding a grudge against you for the rest of your life. Oh, I'm something. holding it against you. No, I'm holding it against you. Because I didn't get to eat my wrap that night. Cause I had to jump up and least, make yours. Yeah, at least no, you got it, it though. No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. She got it. She got up. She made up. She I did. I jumped up and I made Esme's. <laughs> but I do need this griddle pan that I found on Amazon. Now. We need to stop spending money. I need to stop spending money, Chris said. <laughs> How much have you blended in the last week? <clears throat> why, do you even, why do you even worry about that? Anyway, I want this griddle pan on Amazon. And Chris agrees I need it, don't I? Also, we've got a bone to pick for you. <gasps> oh. Right, Amazon Wait. man's just been. He gave and, and, he left, and he left, I know what he's brought, he's brought that tablet and stuff, right? Hmm? But then. I bought an Amazon Echo. But then. What is it, an Echo? <clears throat> echo Dot, is it called? I don't know. I don't, know. I don't even know where it is. <laughs> it just looks really cool and I really wanted it from me. Anyway, Recipes and things. I was come back <clears throat> and launched a box over the wall. It's almost as big as the sprinter. So what's that? <gasps> Mom. It's flipping massive. Mum. Mummy. Yeah. Yeah. Still a birthday present for Jace. <laughs> that we spoke about. And you said don't get. <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway, when I'm cooking meals like I did tonight, when I'm doing chicken and... and steak and things it's really hard because i have to and that's why i feel like some of the meat were overcooked and some wasn't because i've got to do it all on one pan and when there's so many to do it just and you can do two or three at a time it just takes forever whereas i've had that massive long griddle pan it's like this massive long electric <coughs> griddle pan it's really really long. yeah you put a picture on the screen i could just slam all the steaks on or all the chicken breasts on at the same time and cook them all at the same time so everyone's is ready at the same time yeah. Might as well get it. And that's the end of the conversation. <laughs> we, do need one. we do need one. We do need one. When your family's this big, you need one. Right, Aurora is awake now. I just gave her a feed, but while she's happy with it, Chris, I thought I'd make a start on emptying this cupboard here. This is the cupboard that has usually stored all of this, basically. And it's really, as you can see, it's a thin, narrow, darkish cupboard. It's really. 
Put it down. Sorry, I've seen the description too long. Alright. So that's it. Yeah, that's right. Um, it's really difficult to basically find what I need. It's just a chaotic mess. So, I thought now would be a good time to start filling up this space here. As you can see, these cupboard doors here are just perfect for storing your spices. And then the sides here that I cleaned up yesterday do still also need to be um, sorted out again and have the air fryer and the crock pot, etc. Yeah, I'll bring them in. Putting up there. In the, van, this, in. in the van. We've made a start and it looks really good. So this is what this one looks like. So oop, we've got um herbs and salts and cooking spices and things on that side. We've got a whole load more on this side. Um things that we use daily. It's so much better that I can see really easily what's what salts and herbs and flavorings and things i've got some baking things down here um some like you can see hundreds and, hundreds and thousands and some food colorings i've got stock why have i got so many beef stock like what's going on there <laughs> so much stock there um bits and bats here i'm going to use this one as a pasta shelf so there's going to be a load of pastas and stuff here i'm not sure what i'll put on the bottom one i'm not sure what i'm going to put on this one not sure what i'm going to put here but i love this i got loads of like take it out i love that i'll be able to take that out and just really easily see what we've got so we've got like pitas chili we've got loads of chicken casserole beef casserole sausage casserole and uh, we've got um what are these called chicken in a bag type things butter chicken garlic chicken you know all the stuff all the things you need i wish they'd go like that i wish it'd fit that way i totally forgot we went shopping today i just opened the fridge and it was full and i was like well wow. yeah the fridge is <laughs> rammed isn't it um yeah i wish it'd go that way but it won't so it's not a big deal i'm gonna put it that way I'll probably fit two side by side there actually but even though these looked quite small when we built them they're actually perfect. I love the little gold legs, the gold metal stand that they're on. And they're just really nice. I've got loads more space you know, for- You know the bottom, why don't we put the, all the tubes for the new vitamin drinks that we're making? Tubes? Yeah, oh! Let's put them on there now. Pass me in then. Wow. Perfect. Chris is, if you heard what Chris said then, we're basically making our own juices, smoothies, vitamin drinks. Um, we've been doing loads of research on like drinks and juices and things like that. So yeah, that's what these are for, but my juice, I haven't ordered the juicer yet. So these will be used as like, as reusable bottles basically. So like every, I don't know, three or four days, depending on how long they last, um, I'll do like a wash out of those bottles and then a big juice restock. Um, obviously they won't stay in the cupboard when they've got juice and smoothies and things in them, they'll go in the fridge, but um, that's a good place to store them for now until the juice, until I've decided on a juicer. If anybody's got any advice on which juicer to buy, then let me know. The one I've got in my Amazon basket at the minute is an, is it called Am's Chef or something? something like that and it's got like 10,000 really good reviews I don't know what's putting I do know what's putting me off buying it it's 109 pound and about a week and a half ago it was 79 pound and I was so angry at myself but I didn't order it like I didn't order it and then when I went to order it it had gone back up to 109 pound and I'm that weirdo that will not now pay 109 pound I'm like probably gonna get ripped in the comments but I'm like, yeah, but it was only 79 last week. So now I'm waiting for it to come on sale again. But um, if anyone's got any advice on a nice juicer and a blender, I want to buy a blender as well. A juicer or a blender, then comment them down below and let me know. This one that I've just done here is gonna be used for kitchen. Oh, well, I'll show you, I'm gonna, I've started to fill it up. So I'll show you what's in there in a second when Chris has finished popping the shelves in. And that other one, because I don't, I don't feel like I'd be able to fill another one with kitchen stuff. We're gonna use that one for Jason Miller's and even the girls craft things. So like paints, paint pots, sensory bin things, supplies. Um, I just made that shelf perfect. Yeah. That's so funny. 
learning game, some learning games which will rotate. We're going to keep some in the playroom, but we'll keep some in here. Perfect. Bosh. I feel so much better. I felt so... Yesterday and today, up until this evening, I've started to feel a bit better now. I felt completely overwhelmed. Like I wanted to have the biggest paddy today and we're out. Yeah, same. I was like, how, I feel really overwhelmed. Like how are we possibly going to get everything done? How are we going to organise it? I felt like the whole house was just an absolute shit tip, basically. Excuse my language. Look at Chris's like... I'll bleep it. <laughs> but I did, I just, that's how my head felt like it wanted to explode, like how are we going to get on top of everything, like Aurora, it's not her fault, she's only a baby and this time will pass so quickly, but she wants to be held by one of us at all times, which puts a lot of pressure, which makes the one that's holding her feel guilty because then they're just sat doing nothing, nothing, but then the other one, like, feels like a lot of pressure, like I to do everything and to get everything else and then obviously there's Jason Miller that needed a lot of attention as well and the girls don't need a lot of attention but we don't want to we don't want them to feel like we're ignoring them either so you know we're trying to make sure we've got time to, for them as well and I think we just try and take on too much <laughs> like yeah. it's not like we want to do this room it's like we want to do this room and the playroom and decorate the kitchen and sort out the living room and make a start on Isla's bedroom or before Monday or before Monday <laughs> in four days <laughs> Why did we have that time? We shouldn't set, yeah, all before Monday. It's just stupid. It's just not possible. No, we're, but gonna do it. we're, gonna pull we're not doing it all before Monday, we're you tool. And then we've got JC's birthday coming up, so we need to. I've, I've ordered nothing for JC's birthday. I've had like two things for JC's birthday, and I'm usually so on the ball with that. It's his birthday in what, four days? Five days? No, it's no. got like two presents. I think we're going to end the vlog here because I have filmed an absolute load today, and. I'm sure you guys don't want to see any more of me filling cupboards with the C-R-A-P <laughs> around my house. <laughs> um, and that's it for today's vlog. Thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you back here tomorrow at 5pm. Good night guys! Mwah.